Oh no. <laughs> I'm What's really happening? sorry about that. Uh, oh, I no. was switching those titles between matches and I thought I hit the start streaming button again and apparently I didn't actually hit it. Oh no! So oh. I just missed that map. But uh, Charnik, I believe, is also recording a flyover version of it, so it's still going to be recorded, but I'm terribly sorry about that. I'm going back to mute now in <laughs> oh. shame. Oh dear. Well, let we me know it. when it's on. We, we did it, fam. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi, the everyone. Ma the match is about to start. Oh, well, we had a map. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Goat C9s did get the win on Nepal. Just barely went down. Did. To it was two to one, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Uh, we're gonna try and get that video up for you guys as soon as we can. Yeah, Tharnik is recording a third-person perspective uh, spectator cam of that, so we will have a VOD of it. Don't worry about that. But okay, so looks like. Again, Goat C9s did get the win. So, no payload for old men. We'll get the map choice here. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I was told a little bit by the time I was found out that the stream wasn't working. Uh, we were in the middle of a fight. And I couldn't really stop it there. It looks like we should be good here. All right, so no payload for old men has the map. They're picking Volskaya. Interesting pick. We haven't seen a 2CP. Yeah. All the teams in the tournament so far have been certified cowards and have not picked a single 2CP so far. Volskaya is the pick and we are going to see well you know BBQ playing that May mm -hmm. can be so difficult to get through that yep alright so uh, Goat C9s have elected to flip the sides they are going to attack first So, those C9s moving on to the red team, no payload on to the blue team. Okay. So, you know, see, what do you think we're going to see on Volskaya? Obviously, BBQ with that May, we yeah, got to think May, on the defense. May is very strong. I think, um, I'm not sure. This isn't a map that particularly favors any one style of play. So we'll have to see what these teams are comfortable with, what they want to run here. All right, just waiting for teams to ready up. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't seen, we haven't seen this type of map at all in the tournament. So. Yeah, that's also true. Of course, no payload now. Their back's against the wall. They need this map yep. to stay alive in the tournament. I was about to say, I also see a lot of members of the world is a beautiful place and I am no longer afraid to feed. Who I am saying their full name because it's the only time I'll ever say it in this broadcast. Um, they are watching in the Owl Barn right now, hoping that Goat C9s can pick up another win here. Send them to play against them next week. 
All right, so teams are ready. And we're going to Volskaya. Traveling to Volskaya Industries. All right, so heading into Volskaya. Ooh, interesting here. BBQ. Well, it is early, but BBQ I'll... not showing the May, showing the Ana on this defense. You know what? 2CP is very strong for Torbjorn, and Baneling is nothing if not known for that hero. So they're attacking first, but you know, we may see that later on. Doc is hovering his one of his best heroes, uh, Hanzo. Emulator's hovering one of his best heroes, Farah. Absolutely. See that long range damage? A lot of. Actually, Could, uh, a, yeah. Actually, a lot of comfort them, picks on yeah. both sides here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but see Bitter Steel and Witch on, Bitter, on Genji and Junkrat, especially, <laughs> um, respectively. You see these, the the uh, the Ana, the Hanzo, the that all means basically one thing. They don't want that. They don't want the Goat C9 to be able to get through. They want to hold very aggressively, and shoot out that long range damage. But Goat C9's showing the dive comp with the Junkrat Genji. Let's see, are they going to be able to just get through this? So, Bitter Steel on that Genji. He, in fact, even switched his, himself to the green in Discord. Oh, big anti onto Baneling. But BBQ gets taken down immediately. Baneling actually going to survive. So the pick's coming through. One kill onto Baneling, but probably not going to be enough. Everyone going down. Rez has come through. The F kill trying to stall as long as possible. First push is going to be the first capture for Goat C9s. I'm on fire! Yeah, very clean, very clean dive by them. Pick off that support and just keep going. That's why dive has been so strong for so long in Overwatch. So Andrea is going to change onto the Brigitte on the defense here. Yep. Baneling going in aggressively. That diamond, they're already here. The problem is, are they going to have enough healing? Riptire comes out from Witch already. Get three, that's huge. Another kill. And this is going to be everyone but Emulator. Emulator drops the rocket barrage, but will fall. The team kill, and that's going to be it. Six and a half minutes remaining. That was a stunner from Goat C9s. Pretty amazing. Payload, Payload for old men are really against the wall now. Let's see how they recover from that. Wow, they look, just never really had a chance to get set up on the defense. Even they got the swaps in, but yeah, Baneling already diving onto them. Again, with the Brigitte did get the stun, but was not enough to get the kill. We'll see now. Yeah. Uh, Bitter Steel showing the Brigitte on the defense. Mm -hmm. Two tank, three supports, and the Junkrat out of which. Yeah, they um. You don't traditionally think of Junkrat as more of a dive hero. He more flourishes in that death ball kind of comp, but they did a really good job making use of Junkrat's abilities as well. They, um, like the chaos of the dive really benefited the Junkrat there to just spam and spam. And then he was able to hit that rip tire and just close in on three people who were hiding away from the dive off the corner. All right, so 
We are indeed going to see the Brigitte, the Zarya, the Reinhardt, and the Junkrat on the defense here from Goat C9s. No payload for old men. They need both points here to stay alive in the tournament. Like Shung Jock on the Diva, so triple tank with the Brigitte as well. Three this is three. Goat's Cop. This is bonafide 100% Goat's Cop that no payload for old men is going here. It's been a really, really strong cop at every level of play right now. And the problem is you're not allowed to call it Goat's Cop when they're going up against the goats. That's true. I'm sorry. Very illegal. Oh, Emulator gets hit by the trap and mine combo. So. Halo, though, still trying to move in. Not that Lucio. Andreas laying in those flails. So, neither team wants to get too aggressive here. Jockeying for position. Lucio is going to be back in. And now, Goat's backing onto the point. The charge from Baneling doesn't get anything. Fingers also misses. Now Fingers actually gonna come in behind them. Got knocked up onto the roof. Oh, Fingers gets stunned. Lost the Earth Shatter. Rift Tire gets nothing. But kills. Rally coming out from both sides. And it looks like the hammer from Baneling just to clean it up. I feel alive still on the point, but the remainder of no payload is going to drop. But look at all these ultimates starting to come online. No payload does have the graviton, they do have the self destruct. That combination can be a team wipe if they can land it. No diva on the other side to eat it. It's going to be determined. It's going to depend on whether they can get that Rhine shield out of the way. Got everything they need here. Zapfield's going to throw it in. Here comes the self destruct through the back. Oh, that was going to find anything. Now self, the sound barriers being used from both sides. The Valkyrie, the Bio Panda, counter grab. Shatter from Baneling. But the kill's starting to come in. And no payload. Big Shatter from Fingers. Goes for Baneling. Gets him. Riptire, though, from Witch. It's Emulator. So four on three. Fingers gonna be able to take out Bittersteel. Not quite yet. And Aftiel does go down to Hugin. Jack, though, is uncontested here on that Farah. Yeah, the problem with running this three tank, three support comp is that focus is really, really important on it because otherwise the lack of DPS heroes, like that amount of damage really starts to be visible if you don't have proper focus. But um, yeah, and it looks like they are switching to this Farah right here. 60 seconds. Pretty much one last push to go to save their season. Alright, less than a minute remaining. No ultimates yet. BBQ coming up on that coalescence. Oh, an emulator gets taken out. Rally is gonna come up from Andreas, but oh, it's gonna get taken out. They're gonna have to reset here. BBQ uses the coalescence, but stunned out of it by Bitter. Yeah, they have to reset right now to get a clean gotta get out. But oh, Jock drops the barrage too. Mm -hmm. Aftiel might get killed here. Aftiel's Gets getting in. staggered right now. That's oh no. terrible for them. They have plenty of time to touch though. They have Lucio. They don't need to panic about touching right now. They need to give Rally. them something. They need I'm to give themselves steal. about five seconds and then go have Lucio touch. Riptire though, coming through. Fingers is going to get on the point. Gets a big That's shatter. Good. Gets stunned, but he gets knocked out of the way. Valkyrie, though, from Biopanda keeps everyone alive. This is about to be it. All the ults come out, and Goat C9's a commanding win here on Volskaya. They look really, really good going into the playoffs.
against not a, not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination. No payload for old men. No, we had such a competitive match on Nepal. It went yeah. to third map, 99-99. Yeah, those C9s just very strong on both sky there. Yeah, and a nice little story emerging in this tournament. Really rough 0-2 week for feeders. I guess I lied about only saying their name once. But um, really rough 0-2 week in the first week for feeders. Had a lot of roster turnover due to unforeseen circumstances. And now they're going to the playoffs. So really they cool for them. Indeed. So just to look at the Group B standings here. Goat C9's finish at 3-0. And the world is a beautiful place, and I'm no longer afraid to feed. Going to be one and two, along with Potato Potato and No Payload, all sitting at one and two. But yep. feeders do get the three map wins, everyone else with two. Yep. So they will actually move on to the playoffs. So... That is all we have for tonight. Tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, actually, at 4 Eastern. We've got My Chemical Thromance taking on Ducks Eating Greens really fast, and the winner of that match will be going to the playoffs to face Goat C9s in the semifinals. I'm going to so own. You don't want to miss that. That's going to be a huge match. Yeah. The winner will be in the playoffs. Loser going home. Yep. So, what drama. One playoff seed left to determine. Absolutely. Goat, goat C9s and feeders off in the group B. And uh, Ban Hayes and either My Chemical Thromats or Ducky and Greens really fast in group A. That's right. So, that is going to be all for tonight. I want to thank Monocro for joining me. Of course. And so once again, tomorrow afternoon, 4 p.m., My Chemical Throwance, Ducks Eating Greens, final match of the group stage. So until then, I want to thank everyone for joining us, and we'll see you again tomorrow.